that's uh, me, Josh Hunt. I'm presently in Santa Monica, and uh, all right. There's this thing I wanted to. Uh, all right, I had a, I had a video, a previous video that I had made, where uh, I talked about like chanting my name, like as if it were like some like like com comforting thing. And so, because like the other day, I'm like, man, I've I've done so many different like things where I'm like, oh, I should you do this thing for the uh, <clears throat> for uh, uh, spiritual success and the uh, to to enlighten your life and to make it better. <laughs> so I uh, <clears throat> I'm a little nervous. Sorry, sorry. I, I didn't get like a whole bunch of sleep. I mean, it's always the case, but. So anyway, the other day I had started trying to like just say my name like over and over, <laughs> over and over and over again. So I'd like Joshua Hunter, and I even gave like a, a slight like guided uh, meditation. You know, I was like, all right, let's just listen to me say my, <laughs> let's just listen to me like say my own name a bunch of times and see if it like helps because I know it makes me feel a little, <laughs> I know it makes me feel better. So <clears throat> uh, I was uh, I was thinking like. There might be like more appropriate places to use it. I mean, I don't know if you should like always do it. But, like if you're crossing a bridge or something, I think it's like a good idea. Just say like, oh, you know, Joshua Hunter, Joshua Hunter, Joshua Hunter, Joshua Hunter. I don't know. Like it, it, it's like, like I, I do it like while I'm crossing a bridge, and it, I don't know. It makes me feel. It makes me feel better. It makes me feel better. Ah, feeling like, like very. Uh, I'm sensing a lot of judgment, not necessarily of what I'm saying, but just the feeling of, um, I don't know, like, uh, I mean, I know I'm doing, like, what I'm supposed to do, <laughs> like, I, I guess I'm doing my homework all the time, you know, I crunch the numbers, uh, okay, oh, I scared myself, that's what happened, okay, just before I did this, I scared myself, so I, all right, I found this, like, octohedron, actually, let me show you, no, no, that's probably not. I always keep it on night. I found this like octohedron. I think that's what it's called. It's like purple or whatever. That's kind of neat. And, uh, you know, I was thinking like, oh, okay. So the other day I was thinking, oh, sometimes people play games, right? And you want to make, like, they play games with you, but they think you're playing the same game. And I was, <laughs> I was thinking to myself, okay. Because, like, if someone's, like, doing something, they're, like, playing a game, and the other person, like, isn't playing the game, like, it's a completely different situation, which has, like, nothing to do with with what this person thinks is going on. So I... I was thinking, like, what if I was, like, playing... What if I was, like... Hold on. I'm a little nervous. Anyway, so, alright, because this scared me, like, I, so I want to make sure, I need you to think, like, is this something that I ought to be saying? Because it literally made me very, I, I, it didn't make me scared, like, norm, normally scary is like, you know, just like, like little bits of scared, like all over, the, <laughs> all over the place that I sense. And, uh, anyway, alright, so I was thinking, like, what if I was, like, playing, the symbol of this is what I'm talking about, okay, the symbol of this, you know, two people playing completely different games is that I was looking at this thing, I was thinking, oh, what if this was like a multi-sided die, you know, like in some type of a, like a board game or something? And I was thinking, like, what if, like, some guy, like, saw this die and was thinking, oh, you know, they see the numbers, <laughs> and, like, every time they cast, they think you're seeing the same number as well, and they think the results are the same, or, or the same, or similar or something. And so I was thinking, like, if I was playing a game and, like, some guy was, like, you know, had this type of die. I, I was thinking, like, at what at what point would I say this? It's like, I don't even see the numbers, bro. Like, that's what I was... <clears throat> that's what scared me. Like, like, that, like, like the concept. <laughs> it's like, some, like, if you're playing a game with someone, and somehow the numbers come up or something, and, like, at all the time, those whole time, they thought you could see the numbers. And then... Finally gets to this point, and it's like that you, which you say, or whoever says, like, or maybe, 
and says, I don't even fucking see, I don't even see the numbers, bro. I don't even see the numbers. Like, you're, you're playing a game with, like, dice, okay? And the, there are numbers on each side to indicate when, when the dice has been rolled. <laughs> supposed to come up like <clears throat> a certain a certain uh, number okay. Right. <laughs> okay all right so it just scared me that there could be such a disagreement that like two people could be like so far away from each other to be that close playing a game and don't realize that one person can see the numbers and one person can't Anyway, because I don't like the idea. Okay, what also happened, which was kind of like a big bre breakthrough for me. Not that I'm like, I mean, I'm not like, you know, under some type of, uh, you know, therapeutic, like, situation or whatever. Um, but I was thinking to myself, okay, so, like, I never had, like, a girlfriend for more than three days, right? And I keep thinking to myself, like, there's a limit to, like, the thing. So, all right, so there's a limit to, like, what my general feelings about life because I don't have this perspective of oh being with some like a woman and like oh us being together and understanding each other correctly and there being no you know miscommunications and, and uh, uh, you know, caring for like being on the same level you know on the same like oh we, we understand each other and uh, but I'd never even been close to a situation where Where it was even possible for anyone to cheat on me, so I don't even have that like in my frame of ref uh, of view. Oh, my God. How long has this? Oh, that's probably been there the whole time. This video costs extra. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Anyway, damn it. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, I can. Re I realize how that could be misinterpreted. I mean, because it's free. It's, that's. Uh, I'm saying like if there were like a cost to watching these. Like, if this was homework and you didn't know it was fucking homework, like, I, I was like, you know, like, these were just lessons, and you say, oh, I'll take this lesson. Like, you're not even thinking, like, what it would... Anyway. It's kind of silly. I'm not implying anything. I'm not saying that I'm in some position to do that, because that's, you know, that's a little absurd. <laughs> and more narcissistic, more narcissistic than I'd like to portray myself as being, anyway. Although, I don't... Anyway. But anyway, I realized, like, I, I have not, that's not even, like, there's a limit to my anger, because I know how much I fucking hate cheating. I hate the idea of cheating. I hate the idea of even having the possibility, the possibility of me even, like, of me even being with someone who could possibly even cheat on me. Like, I would never, I would rather, like, have no girlfriend or no, or no wife if there was even the slightest possibility that she could cheat on me. And that's, like, emotional cheating as well. Not just like being with someone physically, like when you say, okay, I'm going to go be somewhere else, you know, I'm not going to be physically present for our relationship. Or I mean, I'm not going to be like here, you know, emotionally present for our uh, relationship. I'm just going to be here sometimes, and when I don't like what's going on, I'll, 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 I'll go into some other fucking feeling, you know, phase or whatever. So, I could be describing myself, I don't know. That's what I'm wondering, like, I know I wouldn't, I wouldn't cheat on my wife, like, physically. But I don't know, am I like an emotional cheater or something? Am I someone like, I develop like, like these, these relationships where I can't, um... <laughs> I don't know, where I develop like relationships where it's like, oh yeah, dude, we're just friends. Okay, but there's all types of like secret flirting going on. <laughs> that like, you know, it's like, okay, yeah, I, I have my wife technically. But uh, actually, you know, whenever like, you know, I'll, I'll never kiss the fucking guy, but... <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll make sure he knows what's up. <laughs> okay. Alright. <laughs> okay, I, I, anyway, I feel like I look foolish. I feel like right now I feel like I look like this kind of bravado type person. Like, just like, oh, look at me, I think I know something. So I feel, I feel, I feel like I look foolish. I don't feel foolish, but I feel like I look foolish right now. So that's fine. I mean, I don't, no, I'm a little self con but no, that's all right. No, no, fuck him up. Yeah. Tough guy. Tough, tough, tough guy. Tough. <laughs> okay, okay. 
Anyway, so, the idea of two people playing a game and one person thinking there are numbers on these dice and another person thinking there are no numbers on these dice and them not realizing this and like until it got to some point, at what point did that happen? Like, did it happen like four hours into the game? Like, where they realized, oh, this person is <laughs> seeing numbers and this person isn't? It's a big day for me. It's like it feels like it's a big day. Like I feel like I don't know. I, I, I feel like it has been like a kind of a tremendous accomplishment for me to realize this. Because I mean, all this time I was still thinking I would tolerate it. I was thinking I was thinking, oh, yeah, it's all right. Like I could marry someone and have her like you know cheat on me. Like and I was thinking, oh, that's that's fine. <laughs> that's and I the exact phrase which I thought of like as a, as what would be how my wife would justify cheating on me was that, ah, oh, it's okay to cheat on this guy. He's a nobody. <laughs> like, that was my thought. Like, this is what my, the thought my wife would have. Like, is, like justification. Oh, he, he's a nobody. So, uh... So now I know it's not even, like, I wouldn't even want it to be possible for, like, a lady to, to ever cheat on me. Like, where it was, <laughs> where it was like, I'll, I'll just have no girlfriend. I'll just have no wife. And I think maybe this has been my motivation, like, throughout. And I'm wondering, like, why am I homeless? Why am I homeless? Like, but if I have this feeling, I have to be put into a situation where I can never, like, no one would ever, like, I'm in such a, like, an undateable position. Like, the things that I do are so, you know, repulsive and disgusting. And I do say things sometimes which are kind of nice, but it's hard to ignore every other fucking thing that I do. And I think I do this deliberately, because I can't... Fuck. But... Okay. I can't afford to, uh, to be... <clears throat> to be in a position where, like, I'm, like... I don't mind the people being duplicitous, but if, like, we've made an agreement, like, you gotta fucking stick to the agreement. Otherwise, you know, I can't. I can't be a part of this. So... I just, I don't know. It didn't seem like anybody knows that about me. That's what I'm saying. Like, not one, like, I dare you. Find one woman. Find even one woman who can say, oh, you know, I kissed Josh Hunter. Could you find even one woman? <laughs> ask around. Ask, ask around. I, I fucking guarantee you're not going to find one. You're going to find one. I mean, I just feel better. Just, I don't know, I feel like this is, this, this is important. This means something. <laughs> just, no, no, I probably shouldn't quote. That might be a bad idea. <sighs> anyway. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to make sure I had it on the record that I just... If you're, like, someone... I, I just, I, you know, I don't know how things are going to go. I mean, I'm assuming that I'll, you know... I, I, I would want to be kind... <laughs> And just kind of lets you know, like, if you're a type of person with that type of intent. Like, ah, oh, dude, I just, I'll date this guy and I'll just fucking cheat on him. Ha <laughs> ha, he's a nobody. Like, you're not, I can't, like, I'll, I'll you, you won't be able to hide that quality, is what I'm saying. There, there's always, like, evidence. That you can't, you can't hide that you're that type of a person. And there's nothing, you know, I, I don't, well, I know, I generally I don't like it. And I suppose that's a, that's a very strong opinion. There isn't even anything telling me, oh, I should work on that. I should, I should be more forgiving. And, uh, so, yeah. All right. Well, uh, I don't know if this was, I hope I was, like, a calm person. I don't, I can't tell if I'm being calm or not. Like, this is, like, <laughs> if this is something that I, if it's, like, something else or whatever. But, uh, anyway, uh, uh okay, yeah. Sorry, just to hold my optic blasts back. You know, I got the, the ruby quartz on the... Okay, okay. Uh, <coughs> I'm, I'm 33 years old, and I have the best grades on earth.